All right, y'all, welcome to another episode of Bear Banter here at Highside in Fairfax, Virginia. Old Town Fairfax, Virginia. Old Town Fairfax, Old Town. Virginia. And um, my name's Yannick. I'm Jack. Jack, and today we're gonna be reviewing to you one of these evil twins, on a Jesus. Translates to even more for Jesus. Um, it's the a Jeebus, yes. Uh, it's an even, um, it's a bear, uh, brandy barrel age. I don't know why that was such a tongue twister. Uh, stout with a fudge like body. And it is not brewed in New York, nor Belgium. Or Denmark. Or Denmark. Where Evil Twin is based out of, but they, yeah. they contract brew everywhere. This is brewed in the beautiful city of Barcelona, Spain. Oh, Barcelona. Nice. All right, so that's, I guess, where we get the name from, on Masa Jesus. We've had a lot of the Jesus series before. I love most of them. We've had the Coco Jesus. Fantastic. We've had, well. Even more pecan Coco Jesus. The, the pecan pie. Pecan, pecan pie. pie. Yeah. We've had just the regular Jesus, the base oh, Jesus. Super smoky. I'm excited to jump into this yeah, guy. It's, I, I guarantee you it's not gonna be a small beer. Evil Twin, uh, really. They're not good with the small beers. No, we're at 12% with this. Yeah, this is a big boy. So, this you might wanna share with a friend. Right in there. We're gonna house. share, I'm gonna share it with a friend right now. Oh, aren't you polite. Look at that, man, it's like motor oil. Yeah. The head's so pretty, though. Nice, yeah. nice caramel colored caramel head, head on the beer. Yeah, it looks really nice in the glass. It's super black, super thick. Well, it smells smoky. It smells super smoky. All right, I'm gonna dive into it. Cheers. Yeah, let's get it. There we go. Wow, wow. you get a lot of that brandy right in the finish of the yeah. beer. Yeah, I think that brings it to life. It does. I like it's, that. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be sweeter, and I'm, I'm very surprised and, and very pleasantly surprised that it's not sweeter. Yeah, this definitely. Is, I, this I thought is, we were going to dive into a dessert beer. Evil Twin makes a lot of dessert beers. Yeah, this. This is, is a, this is a, this is a wintertime sipper right here. Is what we got here. I think smoky. Let's get a little, you get a little bit of that hazelnut. Got a lot of smoke in there. A lot of smoke. Um, but everything's kind of subtle besides the smoke and the brandy barrel age at the end. There's other flavors in there that's hard to, to pinpoint because they're a all tiny very bit of, I get a tiny bit of coffee. I get a tiny, tiny bit, bit of dark yeah. chocolate. Uh, I know it sounds generic, but that's exactly what this guy tastes like. This is like you're drinking a, I don't know, you're sitting in think. front of your fireplace wearing a smoking jacket, you know? This is, this yeah. is one of those things. That's do people still really have smoking good. jackets now that Hugh Hefner's dead? I don't think I don't think they do. Oh, just bare chest. Just bare, bare chest. chest just in, bare yeah. chested. You, maybe you got a bare skin rug. Yes. In front of the, you know, it's it's very classy. Yeah. We got drinking out of a nice little snifter here. This is really good. I mean, again, the biscotti break is what brought me onto Evil Twins and what made me a fan of them. I'd probably go as far to say as I prefer this over. The biscotti break at this point. Um, it's kind of different. It's different. I think the biscotti break's a straight dessert beer. This is yeah. more of a, it's, it, I don't know, it's a, it's a beer. It stands on its own, you know? Yeah, I like it. I mean, for me, I'm gonna have to give this one straight up just four Jensen's. Um, I like the body, I like the finish. It's not too overwhelming. It's 12%, not overly boozy, and everything's subtly and balanced. So I'll give it a four for that. For this style of beer, I think it's very good. Uh, maybe not necessarily, maybe it's summer, maybe it's me. I'm just not into the big stouts right now. Uh, I'm gonna give it, but it's solid. It's a well-made product. Uh, it's definitely enjoyable. It's not as sweet as I thought. I'm gonna get one more before I go to it. We're gonna go three and a half. Three and, three and a half, half Jensen's on this beer. Okay. I like that. You got like kind of like an espresso look to it. It's got a little so espresso that, flavor in yeah. there. You know, it makes sense. Let's well, let's enjoy this. Available at the high side in yes. Old Town Fairfax, Virginia. Till next time. Till next time. Cheers.